I could tell you a lot about theory, how psychoanalysis functions, but it didn't mean that after schools I was able to emotionally connect with people. It didn't mean that I was able to sell products because you cannot learn selling at school. You can be the best engineer, you can have very good talents, you can have amazing skills, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be successful in life. So, having explored that part, I realized the very important facts, which is something that you should also be aware of. Apart from hard skills education and academic backgrounds, there's also soft skill education, which will help you to achieve certain things in your life. You can be a very clever doctor, but it doesn't mean you will have clients if you don't have marketing. You can be a very good engineer, but if you are not a good father or a mother, then your parents will not follow you and not like you. So if you want to solve conflicts instead of fighting, then you need to know how to negotiate and how to communicate. And considering that if you negotiate and communicate, and considering that you know how to connect with others and create synergy, then you will have a solution that you've been looking for. And this solution will be delivered to you in the next 20 minutes. Interdisciplinary psychology and its core aspects is means towards win-win. So everybody wants to win. So if I have an idea and you have an idea and we meet together, then we exchange ideas and we are more clever. If I tell you how I was working with Brazilians in Rio de Janeiro and you tell me how is Kiev market functioning, then we exchange ideas and we make more money together. If I tell you how Germans think because I was studying in Germany and part of my personality is German and you explain me how generation of baby boomers born 50 years or 60 years ago in Ukraine functions, then we exchange ideas and we become more clever. If we become more clever, we have a solution to certain problems. And there's many problems that Ukraine and different parts of the world are going through right now. Let's see how we can solve those problems so that our children have better future than the one we did. It's exemplary, it's extraordinary that 30 years ago in a small town in Koszalin in Poland, I was running behind German tourists hoping that they will lose one Deutsche Mark because if they did, then I felt I was special. It's extraordinary that my daughter, she's five, she speaks three languages, which is Spanish, English and Polish. She has no complexes, she has no homo sovieticus inside her head, she's happy and she's developing in a completely different way and her only problem is the smartphone or internet connection that is not functioning not complexes that she has. It makes me happy about future generations, just like it makes me happy that if I come to Ukraine and I go to a restaurant and I ask for uh, Vareniki and I ask for Solyanka and I speak English to those people because 15 years ago when I was in Kiev, not many people spoke English. So I compliment you on this because you're developing. Let's develop you more. Imagine that there is a system the system, and you cannot see everything in this picture, it doesn't matter, I will explain this to you. Imagine you have a system of soft skill education, of psychology, that becomes very useful in your life. Imagine that you are an engineer or a doctor. Imagine that you're a lawyer. Imagine that you are someone who has talent and the profession. Now you want to exist on the market. So if you want to exist on the market, you have to know how to do this. What are you going to need? you will need the following. Firstly, you will need marketing and sales. Marketing is ability to tell stories. It is very important what kind of story you will tell about Ukraine to your children. Many years ago, when I was younger, when I was learning history at school, all the history in my country was about Poles losing wars. So we were always defeated, it was always worse. We were always worse than the others and so on and so on and so on. So this is the story that I was delivered. But when I went to study in Germany or when I talked to my British friends, they don't have stories about being defeated. They have stories about winning. They have stories which put them in a personality which is stronger, which is more self-confident and which is more assertive. 
What kind of story do you ch tell your children about Ukraine? Is it a story about victim or is it a story about winners? Is it a story about, ah, this market is difficult, we were not happy, or wow, this market is developing, we are only just beginning to develop the way we can. What's the story that you tell yourselves about each other? What's the story that you tell your wife? Do you tell your wife a story, I'm a, the best man you have ever met in your life? And do you tell your uh, wife a story, you know, you can find many men like me, I'm nobody special. What's the story you tell your children? Do you tell your children the story you can achieve everything in life? You can be clever, you're talented, you're gifted, you're beautiful, everybody loves you. Or do you give them a story, life is difficult. It's hard to achieve things. I mean, think about me. I was not lucky in my life. Do you tell them stories about luck or about responsibility? Do you tell them stories about destiny or you tell them stories about studying? What kind of story do you tell yourself inside your head? Because Ukraine is also a story. And this story will be elaborated and developed by future generations, making this a beautiful place to live or not. And this story depends on you. If you know how to tell stories, you take 7 billion people in the world and you convert them into prospects. Prospect is someone who is interested in you. When I come to Ukraine and I'm a tourist and a professional who comes here, I should know about Solyanka, I should know about Vareniki, I should know about, is it Uzvar? <laughs> and about Kvas. Well, Kvas is also de delicious. But for me to know about Kvas, I have to go on the internet and to search it. It should be everywhere because this is what makes Ukraine special. If you do this, then tourists will come and they will invest money. Then they will leave money. Then you will be special because you are special. The question is, do you tell a story about Ukraine? If you do, perfect. If you don't, you are just forgotten because you are not prospecting. When you have a prospect, if someone is interested in your product, in your idea, now you have to convert them into a client. This is about sales. Selling means that you take money or certain resources by giving people certain services. And selling is based on convincing. You want to convince your child to put a jacket on. I mean, it's cold outside. So you tell your daughter or you tell your son, put a jacket on. And they go, Niet. And you go, but put your jacket on. They go, Nikada. And you go, but, but, but put your jacket on. Will you get frustrated? Because you're telling them a story and you're convincing them in a very ineffective way. It's a fascinating idea. Imagine this. You have someone who is a salesman. He talks to a client. A client comes and says, this product doesn't work. And the salesman says, don't worry, we will solve it. I will help you. The same person comes back home. His name is Ivan. He comes back home. His son comes to him and says, father, I have problems in mathematics. Ivan doesn't say, don't worry, we will solve it, I will help you. He says, my son, you're an idiot. Why? 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 Right? Well, it's very simple. Because Ivan had mathematics at school, but he didn't have parenting. It's because Ivan doesn't do logarithms in the morning for breakfast. Ivan doesn't do algebra for lunch. Ivan doesn't know how to be a father because it's not at school. So he's intuitive. So he's lucky or not. So he will repeat family patterns because he doesn't think that he should sell his son an idea that mathematics is good. Now, there's a man who talks to a woman and she, he says, I would like to marry her. He has to convince her. You want your parents who are very negative because they were brought up in communism and they are pessimistic and so on. And you want to say, Mama, everything is okay. Everything is harajo, you know, please don't worry. But Mama goes, nah, everything is bad. Look at the government and so on. So you say, Mama, but please, do you know how to convince your mother so that she is more happy? Do you know how to do this? It was not at school. So you have to learn it. It's sales. Sales is not only about clients and someone else. I am selling you right now the idea that this is something you need in your life. According to research and statistics, sales is number five most important ability that people, uh, that employers, that bosses look for in their employee skill set. So 
It's important because you convince people, you convince your parents, you convince yourself. So maybe you had too much of Vareniki and you're a bit overweight, right? And you go, Kvas Vareniki, I'm, I'm a bit fat. Do you convince yourself to do sports or you don't? If you know how to convince yourself, you will lose weight. If you don't, you will say, ah, genetics. <laughs> it, it's genetics. It's genetics. I know it's my babushka. It's babushka. It's, she does this amazing Vareniki. This is her problem. It's not mine. No, I'm sorry. It's about sales, about ability to convince. If you know how to tell stories, and if you know how to convince people, definitely you want self-realization. Self-realization is ability to be yourself. When I am a father of Adriana, and when I wanted to have a child, I didn't think I want Adriana. I thought I want a child. Our parents plan children. They don't plan you. You are a surprise to your parents. So when you realize that you are born inside a certain culture, 70% of decisions when it comes to buying something come from social norms, what others are going to think. Which means that when we are born, we are not ourselves. We are products of our culture, of our family, of our personal history. And if you have a story that I had, which is Homo Sovieticus, then you will have certain mentality. And this mentality is good for authenticity, is bad for making money, because this is the product of history. So when you want to self-realize and create yourself, you need to leave dogmas of the culture and of family to plan your own life and your own mission so that you become who you truly want to be. Once you do self-realization, you go into relationships. Relationships means, do you know how to educate your children so that they don't repeat your mistakes? Do you know how to talk to your wife so that you solve the conflicts, so that you don't discuss, you don't prove, I'm right, you're right, because it's not good for sexual life, right? Winning is better. Do you know how to function in marriage? If you do, then you have relationship intelligence. You know how to do networking. You know how to connect with people. You know how to make business with them. This is another very important discipline. So if you know how to market and tell stories, you know how to sell and convince people, you know how to create yourself, you know how to build relationships, now you go into management. Do you know how to organize the group? Do you understand the processes? Do you know how to motivate people? Because if you do, then you will run a business. If you run a business, you have higher probability of being successful businessmen. If not, you might be very well educated, you might be the best scientist in the world, you might be a book author, but it doesn't mean that you will make money because this is not how the system functions. If you know management, now you go into leadership. When it comes to leadership, do you inspire your personnel? Are you a pattern to be followed by your children? Does your wife or husband, spouse, look at you going, this is the person I want to be with for the rest of, your, of my life? Do you motivate others to follow you? And are you an example of what it means to be an effective, successful, loving Ukrainian? Because if you are, people will look at you and they will model your behaviors. And this is very simple. When I come to you, I'm from Warsaw, I'm from Polska. This is where I was born. Um, the next time, следующий раз я буду только с вами по-русски говорил, okay? Because I speak um, seven, eight languages, right? So normally I present always in a different language. When I am here, for some of you, Polska and Ukraine are very close. We cooperate a lot. But maybe for some of you, you don't know Polaki. So I am Polak right now, but I am not only Mateusz Grzeszak. I represent 38 million people in this very moment. So it's important for me to be professional, to be handsome, to be well-groomed, to talk good about your culture. It's important because I am model to be followed. If I take this presentation, I put it on YouTube, many Polaki will see this and go, wow, he's international trainer. I can be an international trainer Hurrah! as well. So I become a pattern, I become an example, and you will always do more 
to inspire others than you will do for yourself. So give an example and become a leader of your business, of your family life, of your finances, of work-life balance. Become a leader who inspires the others and sets higher standards which will help us destroy the limitations from our difficult past connected with wars, connected with communism and everything else and create a new mentality which will move this country and this beautiful culture into a different era. Once you know how to be a leader, now you talk about values. Do you know what it means to be honest? What it means to be authentic? Do you create situations in which people can grow, can be inspired, in which people have codex of behaviors? If you do, then you have values. It doesn't matter if I'm a very successful businessman. What if I cheat on people and I drink a lot of vodka every day because I feel bad about myself? I need to have professional ethics. But ethics normally come from religion. Sometimes you are lucky, sometimes you're not lucky. You need to have certain values and teach the values to your children, teach the values to future generations, teach the values to your employees. So when a salesman comes in your company and says, ha, I'm so proud I cheated on him, this means that he doesn't have professional ethics yet. You come in and you say, excuse me, we need to have a conversation because later you build society of trust. And I understand very well that my society and your society needs a lot of trust, correct? Because of what happened in the past when it comes to this part of geography. And finally, culture. What does it mean to be Ukrainian? Why when women go shopping, they always spend more time shopping than men? On average, a woman spends 26 minutes shopping. With a man, only six minutes. Why? Why? Why women shop differently? Why women have to build relationship? And men, no relationship, product and good price, please. Okay? One, why Ukrainians think differently than the Russians, than the Poles, than the Germans? Do you know how to be multicultural? Do you know how to enter different markets with Vareniki? Do you know how to become global and be the citizen of the world? If you do, you need cultures. Do you know how to talk to people who are older generations, baby boomers, boy, born 1946, uh, 1964, then X generation, completely different, revolutionaries from 65 to 80, then millennials, you know millennials, 1981 to 2000, they shop differently, this is a different generation. And finally, Generation Z, which is digital natives, your children who don't speak Ukrainian but use smartphone because they are so fast about learning what it means to be digital. This is culture. Culture is a model. When we take off the models, when I am not a man, when I'm not from Poland, when I'm not 36 years old, I am a human being, just like you. And because of those models, we go into separations and differences. Differences create conflicts. When we have a conflict, I lose energy, you lose energy. We don't make more money, we're not happy. But if we know how to communicate, and we know that there's certain set of behaviors that every culture has, we have certain ethical standards, that we can be leaders in our own companies and lives, that we can manage our processes in a very effective way, that we can construct relationships and be friends because there's mechanics of creating um, friendship. If we know what it means to be myself and be completely different from others and yourself, if we know how to sell and how to market, then all together, ladies and gentlemen, we create a win-win culture, which is definitely better than separation. Hopefully this inspired you. Ja mogę z wami to, że po ruski gawerić. Mój ruski, no, e, ruski oryginalny, e, wersja polska, ruska bo języka. No ja psi nie mają. Perfect. Thank you very much. Hope I inspired you. I will be over there if someone wanted to talk. Be well, create a beautiful country. Thank you. Thank you, Mateusz.